Uh, good evening. I had a busy day today. Got up early this morning, put that video on, working on this old tractor. And then I uh, picked up a little more junk, finished filling that load, hooked it up, and hauled it in the scrap yard. Got home about noon. Had a couple guys come buy parts. Uh, looking all over the farm, finding, finally, finally found the right parts for what they wanted. So then this evening I come out and worked on the, this little farm, internet, farm all 230. And I made some progress. It was a hard job, but I got the radiator back on. Uh, hooked the water pipe up here. I used some silicone there. And uh, getting that big hose on something else, but I finally got it. So that's all done. And I guess all I got to do left now is get the fuel system cleaned up and working and make sure I got spark and it'll be ready to go. Well, I gotta put water in the radiator. But uh, I was thinking I, I'm gonna cheat on this thing a little bit. That grill there is all boogered up on the bottom, rusted out. And I'm not real good at tin and body work. So I had an idea. Got these old loader brackets. Uh, thought I'd cut them off right here and there on both sides. And then uh, weld a piece onto it, come out around here and around there like that with a front hitch. Maybe put a weight bracket, sort of. And that would cover up all this rusty stuff on the bottom. And, well, and hide it. And, I don't know, that'd probably be alright. And, uh, oh, well, something I checked on today that I hadn't checked before, but I got up there and pushed the clutch in, put it gear, pulled the starter, and the clutch disengages. So, uh, we know that's good. But uh, look at a little problem I run into. I took the old carburetor apart. And it is kind of... Well, here's part of it. Kind of all dirty. And... This is even worse than dirty. It's aluminum. I don't know, I might be able to get cleaned up. I'll have to get this Venturi out. The choke and the throttle works. And I suppose it'll be a job of that little tube there's all plugged up. It'll be a job getting it going, but I probably can. If not, there's an old carburetor off an A or a B found out there on a wagon. And I know I got another A carburetor over there in a pile of parts. And uh, if that don't work, I got some Alice Chalmers carburetors. So uh, we'll figure out something to make it work. So anyhow, that's about enough for tonight. Uh, what is it? They're under 9 o'clock. It's getting about bedtime. So... Oh, yeah, yesterday I put oil in. We know that. Okay. All right. Turn the lights off. Ooh, it's dark. All right. I better get to the house, go to bed, take a nap, get to work on this tomorrow. That's all for now. Well, I got the old carburetor cleaned up good enough to try it to see if we can make it run. All them little holes there. Cleaned them out. Fuel jet down there is opened up. And I was looking here in this old bag of gaskets a friend of mine gave me. Looky here. How's that? That's worth about $25, $30 up tracks of supply. Alright. Now i got to clean up the other top half. 
There we go. All cleaned out and put back together. It should work. And the new gasket, other than that, it'll look like it's never been off before. Now that's enough for today. I'll get back to work on it tomorrow. That's all. Well, I've got to clean up the gas tank a little bit. Yeah, I made some progress today. Set the carburetor back on. Got the saddle bowl took apart, all cleaned up, put the fuel line on, most of the dust out of the gas tank. And uh look at what else we got. Turn the key turned on. Let's see. You got spark now put well I gotta put the spark plugs back in because I took them out so it crank over easy gotta put gas in and we'll try it and see what happens be back later well I'm gonna try it got gas got spark I put some oil in the hydraulic system oil on the motor well I don't have any water and radiator yet but we won't work it too hard. Let's uh, see if it'll sit down here. Oops. There. All right. Let's see what happens. Out of gear. Pull the choke. Turn on the key.